One more. Good job. Let's go. My friend, Rick. I kind of feel like I betrayed him a little bit. I really hope that he goes home and is able to do it at home. It's not over yet. I have one thing left to do. And for that, we're going to need Patrick and the blue team. As much as you have come to count on your teammates this week, it's up to you to keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Because at the weigh-in, only one person's weight will count for each team. It will be up to the opposite team to decide whose weight will count. And you won't know which player that is until the weigh-in. You're going to have to keep your eye on the other team. Who do you want to put up on that scale? Because the decision you make could be the difference between keeping you here and sending you home. One person is going to weigh in, and that person's percentage will determine which team is going to lose a player. One person. Can you believe it? Here's a little twist. The opposite team chooses that person who's going to weigh in. We have no say in who it's going to be. I feel powerless because I can't control the situation. It's going to make people even more paranoid because they're going to feel like everyone's judging them at every second. You know, the smart choice for them to do would be to choose me. It's going to be me or Jessica. We're going to choose the person we think worked out the least and ate the worst. Everyone's going to be watching everyone. We have to keep, keep a hawk's eye on everyone this week. We'll keep our eye on everybody. We'll see how people are doing. We all have to be watchdogs. I mean, it's, it's like a game of chess now. This week, one person will make or break our entire team. I'm a target to be picked for the uh, for the weigh-in this week because I had such a big number. They figure I'm gonna have to bounce back and have a, a poor number next week. And um, so is Jessica. Because she's notorious for having low numbers. Morning, sunshine. Did it go work out? <laughs> and so I'm gonna make sure that both of us are in the gym this morning, bright and early. I know I have a huge target on my back this week. Um, I didn't put up an awesome number last week in the weigh-in. I'm the smallest girl on our team. But it's going to push me even harder this week, knowing that I might have to represent my team. This week is about pushing everybody on the team to make sure that there isn't somebody that could be the weak link that loses the weigh-in for us. One person is going to weigh in this week and represent your team. What you need to think about is that it's going to be you. And Adam, what you think about is you. Pick up speed. Let's go. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 8, 7, 6, 5. Run! Pick up speed as fast as you can. Burn these legs off. Burn this muscle off this big, pretty butt of yours. Go. You know, the black team's gonna pick someone on our team. If it's gonna be me, I wanna know that I did do everything that I could, that I didn't let my team down by, from lack of trying. We don't wanna lose this one, guys. That's not, that wouldn't be a good thing. I wanna cardio you guys into the ground today. Let's warm up with eight. Try seven first. No way. Friends, you ready? Hit it. 
Nice. Okay. I'm going to try to focus on Elizabeth. Elizabeth historically has had the lowest percentage of weight loss in the house. You know? So, very good chance they're going to pick Elizabeth. 25 seconds. Shoulders down. All really nice. Elizabeth, stop. Pull it together. You got this. You're just having a drama. Get on there. Get on there. Run, Elizabeth. Now. Now. Ten seconds, guys. You got it, babe. Come on. You got it. Four, three, two, one. Four more. Real nice. Real good. Real good. Elizabeth, focus. It's just always, you always have a story in your head about why you can't. And you can, trust me. You know, this week, I, I know I'm going to feel the pressure more than any, any other week. Because I, I know they know that I'm the one that's going to get picked. And I hope I survive. Get your butt back on that treadmill now. Listen to me. Get on there. Do you understand me? If someone goes home because you are having drama about running a minute-long sprint, we're going to have bigger problems. Trust me. Two, one, hit it. I'm still the new person to the group, so if I do okay with my weight loss, there's still a nice possibility that I'm going home, regardless. Three, two, jump, excellent. Now, we're only going to get a 40-second recovery on these. Come on, Jillian, give us a minute rest. Hell no, you got three more. I'm not giving you nothing yeah, no, this I'm week. Saying no way. Seconds, one minute on, one minute off. <sighs> Good. <laughs> Drop your shoulders down. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> Faster. Two hands on. Jump. Fredo, you got one more. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Fredo's a pain in the ass, man. Fredo's like the godfather here. He is the master manipulator in this house. So Fredo's like, he doesn't want to push, he doesn't want to do the work because he wants to rest, and he's pissed. He's pissed because it's like I'm blowing his plan. You're going to be okay. <laughs> Here we go. It's 20 seconds, Fredo. That's 20 fine. seconds. Leave me alone. Let's see what happens. I'll just try it. Go. <laughs> jump off. Jump off. Jump off. Fredo, jump off. I'm calling the <laughs> Go. Jump off. Jump off. Jump off. Fredo, jump off. I'm calling the stop. Fredo, you're all tense. You're leaning forward. You have no form. You said you can all tense. Fredo just stands on ceremony. Fredo, Fredo wasn't running that fast. Come on, Fredo just has a drama because he wants to have a drama because he wants to be right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, jump. Good, breathe. This is a problem. This would never happen with Bob, you know that, right? This is like an alpha male thing. This would never happen with Bob, never. Not in a million years. It's like, wait a minute, dude, hold on, because let me get this straight. You can, like, gripe and bitch and moan and gripe and bitch and moan, and then who are you going to send home, Anna? That's what you're going to do? The arguing's killing me. Oh, the arguing's killing you? <laughs> oh, the pain and the arguing. I'm trying to hold it together, and it's hard. You're not arguing, so you don't need to worry about that. But I need you to work within your capabilities, okay? So you figure out what that is, and just try to keep moving. All right? All right. The problem with teams is that people don't pay the price for their actions. Other people pay the price for their actions. So Fredo just phones it in and sucks. Anna's going to pay the price for it. Lean into it. There you go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Do not drop me. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Good stand up. When we train together, we sweat together. 
We bleed together. Jump on. Go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Dig. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. So whatever challenge is brought to us, we're all together. Recover. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. There you go. Go. Three. Two. One. Excellent. Everything's a struggle for you. Everything's a fight. Muscle everything. I'm sorry. You don't have anything to be sorry about. I don't want you to get the job out of I don't. I've seen. Alfredo is so busy playing the game. And I think that if I could just break through to this guy, even the littlest bit, the hope is that he'll start focusing on the things that are more important and stop wrecking havoc in this place. Is your whole life a struggle like this? A struggle with my body. And I took it out on you when we this worked out. And I should have done that. Well, That's me. Well, you don't have to be so right. But what I think is important is that you're having, you know, a really kind of deep historical reaction at the moment. And I think that's what you need to evaluate. So the other day when you were in the gym, how were you feeling? I, I just felt like you won't listen to me, you know, so. What other times is it possible, you know, that you felt that way before, where like you were being ignored, you weren't being validated, you, you weren't being heard? I, I, don't remember, I don't remember my childhood, so I don't know. I can't tell you. I moved out at 17. Why is that? I, I just brawl to my father all the time. Even to this day, we brawl. I love him to death. Why you fight with him? It's just the kid like me. And now you're here. And I'm you're here. You. Yeah. I'm kind of recognizing why I let myself get to the weight that I, I got to. And I'm recognizing that I need to rein in some of my emotions and, and really think about them before I lash out. Who are you really sticking it to? Myself. Is this rebellious behavior getting me there? No. And the best success is living well. So what can I do to turn it around? That's why I wanted to talk to you. See, that's, that's major progress. Major problems. She's getting through to me a little bit. I, I don't know if I keep working at it, I can figure out why these, these emotions get so raised out of control sometimes. And hopefully I can figure out and, and, and keep those moments where before they get out of my mouth. Think about it. I wanted Fredo to understand that there's going to be moments in his life where he feels disrespected. And there's a way to handle that so that he doesn't continue to sabotage himself. Welcome to Four Seasons, Westlake Village. We've talked about from the beginning of the season that this season will be a little bit different. But one thing that remains the same is you. That this week, only one person's weight will count for each team. Every single one of you has a responsibility to your team. It's important that you work out, get rest, and eat well. So I have some people here to help you do that. Please welcome Chef Curtis Stone and Chef Lorena Garcia. Welcome. Thank you. Curtis Stone and Lorena Garcia come jogging out the door, and we're just so excited. Well, today I thought I'd bring you a little surprise. A special friend of mine, Lorena Garcia, who's known as one of the best Latin chefs in this country. And she also has a special interest in really healthy food that's good for you. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. I personally lost about 60 pounds, just, uh, you know, eating healthy, uh, exercising. So I, I'm with you guys. I'm with you. I can feel you. Even though Chef Curtis and Chef Lorena are world-class chefs, they are not the ones cooking today. You are. Wow. Erin, Jessica, Lisa, Elizabeth, Patrick, and Anna. The six of you will be cooking with Curtis and Lorena. You will prepare an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. The other six will judge the dishes. But you won't know which team's dish you're tasting. And the team with the best overall meal wins a huge advantage at this week's challenge. 10 seconds. That's all you're gonna get from me. <laughs> it's worth 10 seconds. And believe me, you'll need every single second. What is it? Tell me. I want to know. 10 seconds. I'm immediately feeling pressure. OK, what does this 10 seconds really mean? She didn't say a 10 second head start. A 10 second advantage. We don't have a clue. I mean, I'm sure it's huge. 10 seconds is that big of a deal. We have to win this thing. Chef Curtis, Chef Lorena, what is it? You're not touching that food. 
What? We're not touching the food? Not touching You're it. You're kidding me, right? Uh -huh. They don't get to touch the food. You guys ready? 40 minutes? Because it starts right now. Get going. Come on, guys. Yeah, Let's go. 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 Over here. I want an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Get going. Do it. So I've got the blue team on my side. We're up against the black team. I'll just hold them back, guys. Yeah. Come on. Let's do it. Lorena and I are not physically allowed to touch the food. So, I mean, straight away, I'm a little bit stressed. Now, have you all been cooking since I was here last at the ranch? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah? Yes? Uh huh. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Aaron, Someone. you haven't been cooking? Somewhat. I don't cook at all. And um, I'm really nervous because I know the winning team of this particular pop challenge will win 10 seconds. Okay, guys, all of us down here. Okay. I'll show you where the ingredients on, are. Girl. Tell me about your experience about cooking. You know, even though I am a Latina, I am not a typical Latina, I don't cook. ¿Qué pasó, chica? ¿Qué pasó? <laughs> you know, being Latina, you're, you know, automatically, oh, you're a great cook. Okay, yeah. so appetite is the main course and dessert. I think that's perfect. Okay. okay. I wasn't comfortable with cooking, so I would always grab something on the run or fast food. Excuse me, excuse me, move around. <laughs> Both teams are just going crazy, like, okay, grab this pan of vegetables, grab that fish. Yes, yes. The other team's trying to get to their stuff. I mean, it was like pure chaos in this little tiny area. The thing about being a good cook is keeping yourself neat and tidy, all right? So okay. get yourself a bowl, or even put a bowl in here, and then you can use that as your trash. Okay. So I want you to take the knife. Okay. Take one shrimp. Okay. And cut it lengthwise, from here to here. There you go. Do all of that. I am making a shrimp ceviche martini made with shrimp, bell peppers, red onion, cilantro, and lemon. The first thing they have to have is the appetizer. So one, I have to make sure that it looks good, it tastes good, and it's done. Today's your time to shine. I'm giving Aaron the starter. He's going to make a green papaya salad with grilled shrimp, carrots, bean sprouts, and a really nice lime and cilantro dressing. Cut this julienne style. So use your fingertips, and if you lift this up, hold that in one hand. Hold it, that's right, okay. That's Chop that really finely, okay. and let's mix it on a bowl. Let me get you one. Patrick did an entry, we did tacos. He had the tuna, he had to marinate, he had the spicy in part with the cilantro, jalapeno, salsa. Then we have the tomatillo with the, you know, fresh onions, lemon juice, lime. A clove of garlic, just peel it and put it in there. Oh. Come and shake the pan. Yes, yes, yes. Shake it, baby, shake it. That's it, move the hips. <laughs> yeah. Jessica's going to get the entree. It's going to be a grilled piece of tuna, which is just really lightly seasoned. Some onions, some garlic, some tomatoes, some zucchini, and some summer squash. Really, really tasty dish. All right, so get your garlic in there. There you go. Perfect. Same thing all the way. Beautiful. Okay. That's exactly how you can fit all of it. Chef Lorena Garcia is having me make um, peach cream cups which is basically yogurt with a grilled peach on top. Then you're going to put one of these tubs of yogurt in okay. and, and blend it together, OK? Felisa, it's the dessert. So what we're going to do is a peach dish. We're going to grill some peaches and serve it with like a raspberry yogurt sauce uh, and just some nice little toasted almonds on top. Look at that. See how you can get colour from natural things? Mm -hmm. You know, people always think you need artificial colours. It's not true. Look at it. It's just raspberries and yogurt. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Okay, honey, you're going to need a blender? Yes. Okay, I'm going to teach you what you're going to make there. Okay. You have 20 minutes. Ah! Oh! Sure. Well, you know what? I, think I am here to remind you, yeah, you no touching, Lorena. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, then. And by that, that means no touching. Even though Lorena is our chef, she's not allowed to touch any food, touch any of the prep tools. And all she can do is stand beside us and give us verbal instructions on how to do things. Take these no thing touching. Right Are you kidding me? I mean, I'm in the kitchen. I'm in my white. And not being able to touch the food. Just squeeze No it. touching. Right Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I was just going for it. You know, my arms were almost, you know, grubby. Him. <laughs> I swear. Curtis, no down. touching. I wasn't touching. He wasn't. I wasn't touching. The fact that I can't touch the food is killing me. I wish I could touch the food <laughs> so, but I've never wanted to touch food as much as I do right now. I mean, as a chef, you're so used to using your hands and tasting everything, and today I can't touch anything, so it's really difficult. I want to touch the food. <laughs> How are you feeling? Feeling confident about your team? Yeah, these guys are doing amazing. It is the first time Aaron's been in the kitchen. Yeah. Just a half good, man. Just a half good. Uh, just one hand. And did well? Time. And he's doing well. He's doing real well. How are you doing? You look nervous. I'm doing a little. I'm a little bit stressed, but I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Vinegar. Okay. Squeeze it, baby. Squeeze it. You want me to keep chopping? What do you want me to chop now? Yeah. The onions more? I've never made this appetizer before. So squeeze it and juice. Just 
Cut it. Juice. Bring the juice. Okay. I'm just like, can I do this? I don't know. I'm questioning myself. So I'm not very familiar with it because if I was, then I would know like what to do next. I have to keep calling her. Lorena, Lorena. Lorena? Lorena, my leaves are done. Lorena, did you want the juice to stay in there? Okay, Lorena, is this enough? It's stressful. All right, guys, bad news. You got five minutes left. Five minutes. I don't like to do things on a time limit. Keep it up. Okay, guys. We gotta move, we gotta move, we gotta move. I have five minutes left. That is it. And I need to hurry, and I'm only on the garnishment. Do or die, and we're gonna do. Next. So Next. get that shrimp mother fudger. All right, guys, one minute. One minute. Is the shrimp gonna be cooked? That's the question. <laughs> I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, cook, cook, cook. It's like we're seriously running out of time. We can't serve raw prawn. Take the tuna with a knife, right? And I want you to cut it. Make sure you saw. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Straight on there. Next one as well. Let me see where he's about. There you go. Put it there. Get, get him in there. Get him in there. Hooray! Quick, 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 quick. I am really nervous that I'm going to run out of time. Where's the salsa? The cherry tomatoes? Right there. Beautiful. Five, four, four three, four. two, one. Time's up. Woo. I know you want to get the most out of every day and need easy foods that work hard for you. So here's a tip. Grab YoPlay Greek to help satisfy your hunger. It has two times the protein of the leading regular yogurt. It also has zero grams of fat and the delicious taste expected from YoPlay, making it a perfect choice for a healthy snack. Trust me on this. It works. Black team, blue team, I am taking your appetizers out to the judges. You are free to look on the closed circuit television and see what they think. Sounds good. Sounds good, sounds good. Aaron, brother. There's two out of three people I know on my team that cannot cook. So my strategy going into this would be the worst dish will be one of ours. So I'll pick the appetizer I least like. I have two dishes for you. A shrimp salad. Come on, you better like it. And a shrimp ceviche cocktail. So you two are going to share. You can each start with one and then we'll reverse it. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> There you go, Fredo. Good stuff, Fredo. Come on. Come on, Fredo. Come on, Fredo. Come on, come on. Come on. I get a taste out of my mouth. It was disgusting. Oh, oh come on, Fredo. It's not disgusting, baby. Don't worry. It's all about taste. <laughs> Fredo kind of made a comment that it tastes like crap. I was back there like, oh, I'm going to kill him. Oh. All right, I have entrees for you. A vegetable ratatouille with tuna and an olive tepanon. And these are tuna tacos with a jalapeno tomato salsa. Enjoy. Oh, the crunch. Yeah. <laughs> Let's swap them up. Good job. And this is dessert, gentlemen. Peach cream cup and grilled peaches with raspberry yogurt and toasted almonds. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, he's got a poker face on it. Come on, yeah, give us some love. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My dish was more ice creamy, so I think, you know, Brendan would choose mine. And, you know, I was nervous, but also excited. Well, judges, you are about to find out who made which dish. So let's start with the appetizers. Fredo, Adam, were in charge of judging the appetizers. What'd you think? They were both fantastic. I'm not a big uh, sprouts fan, so that's kind of what turned me off of the salad. But I really enjoyed the ceviche. I thought it was tasty, and I'd order it in a restaurant. I would. Adam? Going back and forth, you know, to me, I think it was about presentation, you know, texture and taste, you know, and with that being said, I think one dish just completely knocked it out of the park in those three categories. And for me, that was the salad. Aaron, which dish did you make? Um, I made the salad. Which means Anna? I made the shrimp martini. Absolutely delicious. The ceviche was the worst dish. You know, I just had a gut feeling that, that my team made that dish. And you know what? 
I was right. Fredo chose the black team dish, and Adam chose the blue team dish. That is a 1-1 one, one tie going into round two. Gentlemen, please step back. Can you believe it? He picked my dish. Said he liked it after I heard he didn't, but uh, who cares? We got the vote, so I don't care. Next, I would like to have the two people who judged the entrees. Ada, we're going to start with you. What do you think? I love the presentation on the taco salad because there's a lot of elements and it's really pretty. And then this dish, uh, the tuna with ratatouille, um, had a lot of flavor. If I had to choose one, um, I would go with this one, the tuna with the ratatouille. Mark, what were your thoughts? I love putting my dishes together. I figured uh, I wasn't cooking, so I, at least I got to assemble my dish, which I thought was fun. This one, I just think the spices on it and flavor. That's why I like the grilled tuna. So two votes for the grilled tuna. Jessica, which did you make? I made the grilled tuna with the vegetable ratatouille. Good job, guys. Which means Patrick? Uh, I made the tuna tacos. I made a mistake. Um, I'm super competitive, and I hate losing. And it's not about the reward. It's not about, you know, prizes or anything. I just like to win. We have one vote for the black team and three votes for the blue team. It is time to get to the desserts. Dessert judges, please step up. Jesse, what were you thinking about those desserts? I really liked the raspberries and peaches and roasted almonds were, were good. While the other dish maybe remind me a little bit of ice cream, I chose the peach cup. Presentation, I think, is everything when you go to a restaurant. Obviously, the first thing you see is how it looks, and that's how you usually generalize how it's going to taste. Our fingers are crossed, and we're just like, oh, come on, please, please, please. They were both great, but I had to choose the same one Jesse chose. Yeah! <laughs> Which means it is a tie. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, my dish is the one that won, and I was very proud of that. Especially for a Latina woman that doesn't cook, you know, that's a walking contradiction. No. I mean, after we just went one to three, now we're in a tie. Like, are you kidding me? This is too stressful. For that tiebreaker, I'm going to send all of you back into the kitchen and you can watch oh, yeah. as the judges are going to have to make the final decision. So get out of here, guys. Thank you. All right. So guys. Good job, guys. Good job. Thanks. Thank you. Delicious. No, it's a tie. No, it's when the competition became like, Amazing! Now this is what it's all about. Oh! In order to win this tiebreaker, you have to accurately guess how many calories are in your team's dessert. Whichever team gets the closest to the accurate calorie count of their team's dessert wins this pop challenge. So go ahead, taste it. There's regard in here. Peaches look like they're grilled. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole peach then. I think it's just one. How many ounces is this cup? Oh my god. Oh this my is, god. This is the watch of a nerve right yeah, now. Seriously. I'm trying to break apart these ingredients. I have a calm head, Jesse has a calm head, Adam has a calm head. Meanwhile, black team's kinda of arguing a little bit. Okay. What are you saying? I didn't criticize nothing. I said it's too late. I did. That's what I just did. Shut up. Let's figure this out. Okay, so. How many calories on the beach? 90. Oh, okay. It's not 90. I know he can't cook because I taught him how to make eggs in the microwave. When it comes to cooking, he's a complete... What's that What's that book? Cooking for, for morons? Or... He needs that book. I don't know. I think he... Yes, I don't want to no. talk uh, about Fine. No. Fine, we'll get... What's wrong with you two? Fredo, get your ass over there. Come on, Fredo. What? Do whatever you want. All right, well... You guys have, like, the biggest egos in this house. You notice the calm blue team is not even on camera? logical blue team. <laughs> Black team's having, like, a, an epic meltdown. They're yelling foul language at each other from across the ballroom at the Four Seasons Hotel. Do whatever you want to do. I'm not... I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. I'm asking you a question. He says 200. We got 200. There you go. One minute. We have got to talk about this. No, I you said did. my... You did. You did. No, I just... Let me... Let me go. All we have to do is just guess the calories for a dessert. Like, why do you have to get so, like, upset and bent out of shape? I feel like I'm trying to get these, like, kids to, like, get along, and it's just... It's just frustrating. It's just really frustrating. Ada, we're gonna start with you. There's some slight tension, but we've decided to go with 185. Blue team, Jesse, what was your thought? We've decided to guess 109 calories. Okay, so it all comes down to this. 
This is the tiebreaker. Whoever gets the closest to the actual amount wins a 10 second advantage at the challenge this week. We're sitting back there, our fingers are crossed, we're sweating. Oh, come on, please, please, please. Please. Oh my goodness. And the winner is the blue team. The blue team's actual total was 100 calories. Woo! You were nine calories off. Black team, your dessert was 140. You were 45 calories off. Even though we didn't win the prize, it kind of awakened something in me, and now I feel more confident. And I think, you know, I have something to bring to the table. You know, with more practice and learning in the kitchen, I'll be, I'll be just fine. Go talk to your other teams. And blue team, I know you got a lot to celebrate. So head on out to the kitchen, guys. He's just 42. Like I said to you early, he needs he been cooking for dummies because he can't cook and he has no idea what, what calories are and what. <laughs> Coming up, a challenge that'll put teamwork to the test. Break for no, 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 Blue team is meeting in the Zen Garden, and we need to decide whose weight on the black team we want to choose to count at the weigh-in this week. Yeah. We've got a crazy week this week. With this week, what we have to do? Yeah, so. With one, only one of our weights counting? <laughs> so, I mean, what do you guys think in terms of the other team? Or do you guys have anybody in mind already? Who we pick on their team is as important as us killing, killing ourselves in the gym this week, and assuming it's any one of us. And it's I a very important choice. Obviously, the first choice that jumps out at all of us, and I think I'd speak for all of us, is, is Elizabeth. She's had a hard time losing weight here at the ranch, you know, and I don't think she's had a weigh-in. It's been over five pounds. So, she could pull a number like that this week and we pick her, I mean, that would be, that would be great. She is she do? Is she do? That's the next question. Is she do for a big number? And I don't, I mean, me personally, I don't think so. I mean, Jessica, historically, she has the lowest number on their team. And I don't think she works as hard as the rest of them, but that's just my opinion. But I think they know that we want to pick her, so they might. They know that, yeah. So she. But it's like an old, it's like an old-fashioned shootout. Let Jessica and Elizabeth duke it out. Elizabeth's gonna beat her. Obviously, I think that Jessica needs to weigh in for the blue team, and you know Jessica's had some some pretty lame numbers. I, I almost think that you know, hey, let's pick Jessica. Let them let them pick Elizabeth. Let them square off and let's see which team wins. We got a lot to think about this week. Yes, we do. More than ever, we're accountable to each other this week. So. Definitely. I agree. There's a lot of information to process, a lot of ins and outs, a lot of what have yous, in terms of who we're going to choose from the black team to weigh in and for their weight to count at the weigh-in. So we're going to keep our ears to the ground, keep our eyes open, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to make an informed decision. As you know, this week only one player's weight will count for the entire team at the weigh-in. That means this week your team is only as strong as your weakest player, unless you win today's challenge. The team that wins today's challenge has the option to block the other team's first pick at the weigh-in. If we lose this, we're screwed in the weigh-in. Uh, if they can block us from picking Elizabeth, I really don't have a clue who we could pick next. For today's challenge, you will participate in what is considered one of the oldest team competitions on Earth, a dragon boat race. Dragon boat racing is a Chinese tradition dating back 2,500 years. Dragon boat racing is considered the ultimate team sport because this race isn't just about strength. You have to be in sync as a team. Here's how today's challenge is going to go. The race is one thousand meters. 500 meters to the buoy, 500 meters back. The first team back wins. Blue team, you won a 10 second advantage at the cooking challenge. It's up to you to make the most of it. 
So one person is going to steer for each team. It's up to you to decide who. The rest of you will be paddling. So let's get started. There's no excuses right now. We have this 10 second advantage. We should, we should shoot out of the gate and not have to look back, not have to worry about where the black team is. We have to just keep our eyes on our blue buoy and just, and just pump hard. I really think it's, it's really important to know who's steering. How confident are you in steering? I mean, I'm confident with it. I mean, we want the strongest people all paddling. What? I just want that Jessica to feel 100%. Yeah, if you're not 100%. Confidence. I think the main thing with this is not strength, it's more confidence. Yeah. I'm really confident in how we set up the boat. We've got our four strong guys right in the middle where I think we need them. Elise is at the front leading, and I'm in the back steering. All right, guys, remember what you are playing for. Blue team, you have a 10-second head start if you're ready. On your mark, get set. Blue team, go. Two, three. Allie says go, and our paddles hit the water, and nothing. We're not going anywhere. Wind's not whipping through our hair like I'm imagining it happening. Four. Five. We are absolutely going to waste this 10 seconds right now. Five. Six. Two. Seven. Three. Eight. Nine, one, black two, team is starting. Three, and then finally something clicks. Two, it feels like we're flying. Four, one, two. Right. I'm gonna break for no, 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 no. I got it, I got it. Blue team is all over the map. We're paddling, we're giving everything we have. And there we are, we're already starting to veer to the left. Black team, a little bit slower, but they are straight on course. One, it's like the blue team's finally two, figured it out. They're straight on course. I can tell that we're, we're, we're gaining ground on the blue team. Um, we're doing really well. The blue team kind of veered off a little bit, and we're moving along, you know, really well. The blue team still holding on to that lead. They are both length ahead of the black team. Boom! You don't yes. that. see that. They're not pedaling! Two! Come on, girls. Three! Turn it! Four! Hannah, turn it! Girls, you got to pedal. We're rowing, and we're rowing, and we're veering off to the left. One! How do we Two. I don't understand. Three. I'm hard right. I'm hard right. Four. We got a paddle. One. This thing, this goes Two. straight, Anna. I'm when the boat was going left, you know, I thought two things. Damn, we're going to lose, and damn, we're going to lose. Because I knew as soon as it started going left, you can't make up that kind of time unless, unless they make a tragic error. One. The buoy's coming up. This is like my moment. If I don't steer us right, we're done. Aaron, what do you mean? <laughs> Hit the end of this channel if they don't turn soon. Straight, straight, one, straight. Digging my oar, and for some reason we are not turning as fast as we're supposed to turn. I'm like, come on! One, Black team making that turn. Two, it is a long three. way back. It is anyone's game. Cut, it. cut. All right, let's go. I grab the pedal and I pull back. We make the best turn ever. That's my main responsibility is to make sure that we get an excellent turn, and I did that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, the catch turn. Come on. At the turn, the black team is pulling ahead. Don't worry about it. Two, three, four, one, two, one. Looks like they are neck and neck to the finish. We're going to win the chance to block the other team's pick at the way. Four, one. Keep it straight. Go left. Four to the left. Straight. straight. One. Four. One. Two. Oh. Let's go. Pedal straight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Straight. Go. 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 In the last 10 years, carbohydrates have gotten a bad reputation. But the reality is that carbs are not created equal, and we need healthy, quality carbs for our survival. So what you want to do is avoid bread and crackers made from refined flour, white rice, foods made with sugar, including soft drinks, and instead eat moderate amounts of the good carbs, like fresh fruit, brown rice, breads made with whole grains. And remember, most fad diets are bad diets in the first hour of The Biggest Loser. At the next weigh-in, only one person's weight will count for each team. Causing some to cave under the pressure. Ah! Fredo, jump off. Stop it. I'll just hold him back, guys. But it's the blue team who gained the upper hand. 
Blue team, you won a 10 second advantage. Woo! In the end, who will be chosen? Your current weight is. Find out in the second hour of The Biggest Loser. It is neck and neck. Two, three. Who is going to win the chance to block the other team's pick at the way? I'm real pissed, man. I mean, if I lose and the other team wins gracefully, that's fine. Like I said, when we won the challenge last week, we congratulated them and gave them a prize and didn't gloat. When they won the cooking challenge, they're dancing around. When they won this challenge, although they had a 10 second head start, all this screaming, yelling. All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all right. You guys give it a good effort. Don't worry about it. Good job, guys. Way to go, Patrick. Good job, Anna. It hurts to lose. To lose another one, it hurts. And we lost an advantage, so. All right, Blue Team, congratulations. You have won this challenge. It's going to help you a lot at the weigh-in. You have the option of blocking the first choice from the black team at the weigh-in. So it gives you a lot to think about. Good luck, you guys. I will see you all at the weigh-in. Hey, Jillian. Hey. hey. Yeah. What Hi, happened? Jillian. What's going on? You don't want to know. I don't want to know. No. We lost by six seconds. Gosh. You know, if it means anything, we were in sync. Well, you told me it doesn't mean anything that you're in sync. To be honest, right now, Anna's fate is in Elizabeth's hands. And that doesn't make me feel overwhelmingly comfortable. It's important that we're in sync. I don't think so. Yeah. I think that you've been so comfortable in this little scenario that you're not pushing. I am. No, girl, you're not. I'm telling you right now that they're probably going to pick you and that most likely you're probably not going home tomorrow. A part of me does feel safe because I have Fredo and Brendan that don't want to see me go home. You deserve to be here. We're going to take care of you. Okay. I know they don't want to see me go home. If you're working as a team, then you're going to care about your team members. If I do OK with my weight loss and somebody does worse, there's still a nice possibility that I'm going home. I'm still the new person to the group, and there's still some alliances. So that's why I would um, be considered to go home. You say that to me, I want to see that in that gym, because I'm going to beat your ass today. I figured that. All right, well, today, you show it to me in that last chance workout. That's what I want to see. If I get chosen to weigh in and I lose it for my team, I don't feel it's going to be fair if someone else goes home. If I lost it for the team, then I'm the one that should be going home. But I don't want to go home. Last chance workout, let's go. Ten. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Uh, Nine. Uh, Faster. Uh, Eight. Last chance workout. That's some sweat coming off you right now. Six. I'm giving everything I got right now, and it might not be enough. Don't stop pedaling. When my mom left this earth, she was at 400 pounds. I couldn't help but to think about that. My mom ultimately died from a heart attack that was brought on by complications of obesity and diabetes. And I knew that I'm on that same path. I'm on that same path that she was. I got to put myself first. I got to put my health number one. And it's not going to happen. I'm not going to lose the weight until I focus on this. And go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, one more. Oh. Oh, I can't do that. You can do it. No, keep your feet in, keep your feet in. Oh, that's hurting my hip. Ah. Ah. I've been consumed by my own feeling of inadequacy. Up, now. In thinking I can't do this. I'm going to let my team down. Six, five, four, 
<laughs> Hands on and jump. Jump. <laughs> what? <laughs> Last chance workout, Elizabeth. Run! I want to see that fire. You guys are functioning as a team, and it's all for one and one for all. And I'm telling you, there's a real good chance that every single person here depends on you this week. You don't get to be the weak link this time. Ten more seconds. Ten. Go! 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 Don't stop. Push through it. What? What hurts? You were having trouble running sixes this week. What? I don't know. Take a guess. What do you want me to tell you? My whole life is up. Yeah, great. Go start there. <laughs> start there. I've been weak my entire life. Weak. I was always sheltered. My entire life protected by my family, my brothers. And how did you interpret that? Weakness. Right. You've just put yourself in a situation where you now have two brothers that protect you. Congratulations. It's your childhood all over again. My entire life it's always been like that, and I guess that's why I've always gotten myself into bad relationship. Who treated you that way? My husband. Beforehand? My ex. You know, I figured that if I was able to survive and get through everything that Surviving I went through. Surviving is not fighting. Thriving, that's fighting. Surviving is barely getting by. Now run again. I didn't fight or thrive my entire life. I survived. While I was married, it was a very um, abusive relationship. He was verbally abusive, physically abusive. He really grinded my self-esteem down to nothing. I gained about 90 pounds, and I just woke up one day and I saw myself and woke up from this nightmare and I didn't even recognize who I was anymore. Come on. Who be you? Thanks. And what else? I didn't deserve it. And he's the weak one. Fight! Back! Elizabeth! Come on. <laughs> nope. Stay on it. Nope. I told you I'm not gonna let you go there. You're not gonna go there. Go. Who let it happen? Who let it happen? I let it happen. Why'd you come here? To change my life. To lose weight. Well, why would you feel worthy of that? Because I don't want to be weak anymore. Then from now on, it's your fault. It's your fault now. Because now you know that you can do more. Now you know that you can be more. You know that you deserve more. Being here on the ranch forces you to reevaluate everything that's ever happened to you in your entire life. It's hard going back and having these realizations that you thought things were a certain way. And it turns out they weren't. I wasn't a fighter, I was a survivor. I don't want to just survive, I want to thrive. Go, 10. They're gonna pick you. You guys have got a huge opportunity. You get to block their first pick. We're taking this way in as though we don't have that block. With, without a doubt, 100%. Remember what we said all week. You have to assume that it's gonna be you that gets picked. Ah. Pop. This is hard. There's nothing easy about this. There's nothing kumbaya about this kind of it could be you, Aaron, the big guy. Uh, Do I want you to go home, Aaron? No. I saved you, didn't I? Yeah. So we're all fighting just as hard as we were earlier in the week before we knew about this prize. Last chance workout, let's go. Last chance workout. That's it. <laughs> he can't slack on his team, and there are no slackers. <laughs> Good. Faster. Yeah, let's go, four. Last chance workout, let's go. I have no worries going in this way in. <laughs> and one. <laughs> that was your last chance workout. This week, only one person's weight is going to count from each team. The blue team has two huge advantages. Not only does Adam have his three pounds that he can use that can help them and help him, but they can block one of our picks. 
Yeah, we're pretty confident that it doesn't matter who weighs in that we should be able to win this. At the beginning of the week, you all learned that only one player's weight will count for the entire team. The player with the lowest percentage of weight loss will send their team to the elimination room. Blue team, you won the challenge this week, which means you have the opportunity to block the black team's first choice. But you have one other thing to keep in mind, and that's you, Adam. You still have that advantage. Right now, it is worth three pounds if you decide to use it tonight. If you decide not to use it tonight, it'll be worth four pounds next week. What's it gonna be? It was a tough decision, you know? Thought long and hard about it. And I decided not to use the advantage. I want to have that advantage grow. I mean, here it's worth three pounds this week, four pounds the next, and it ultimately can get up to eight pounds. We all know how big eight pounds could be, and that's, that's basically immunity for that week. I thought it was totally foolish. The target starts out this big, and the next week gets this big, and then the week after that's this big. Use it. I told him more than once, I said, you gotta use it three by minutes. Nope, nope, nope. Jesse, who did the blue team decide to pick to represent the black team tonight? We decided that based on past weigh-ins and who we thought would put up the lowest number based on those, the blue team has decided to pick Jesse, who did the blue team decide to pick to represent the black team tonight? We decided that based on past weigh-ins and who we thought would put up the lowest number based on those, we're going to choose Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you kind of saw that one coming. Yep. It's something that I expected, so I'm not shocked. You kind of spent the whole week thinking they were going to pick you. Did that elevate your intensity this week? You know, this week, um, Jillian really got into me. So, um, you know, she was really kicking my butt in the gym. So hopefully it was enough. I keep thinking Jillian has been putting a lot of time and effort into Elizabeth, knowing that she's the obvious choice. I think that these guys could be in serious trouble. Now it is time to find out who Elizabeth will be up against on the blue team. Who did you decide? to represent the blue team at tonight's weigh-in. We honestly looked at every member on the blue team, uh, and uh, we just kind of all came to a, to a solid decision, and we've decided that uh, our first pick for the blue team is going to be Jessica. I hear my name, and all I could do was accept it. I'm confident that I did what I need to do, and I'm, I'm ready to win this one for my team. Jessica, blue team, at the challenge, you won the option of blocking the black team's first pick. But understand that that is entirely up to you. I'm gonna give you a chance to talk about it right here. Make your decision. I don't want them to block Jessica. You wanna come out and talk to us? You said you feel confident, right? You know, inside I'm going, please don't block this. I've done absolutely everything. You told me to do this week, I've done absolutely everything. If the blue team blocks Jessica, I think we're going to lose. If the blue team is dumb enough not to block her, then we're going to win. What do you think, Papa? I can't tell you what to do. We value your opinion. I tell you all good eyes, but you're too different. Okay. Are you going to have Jessica represent your team, or are you going to let the black team make a second choice? We're coming into this way in confident um, in each of ourselves, and that includes Jessica. And so we have decided to uh, decline our option to block their choice of Jessica. We wanted to actually make a statement that we welcome them choosing any of us and that we're willing to step up on that scale and take the challenge. Jessica, how do you feel about that decision? Um, I feel confident and I feel if we make an emotional decision right in the moment, it might not be the right one. So we're going to go with our gut and just see what happens. This means that it is down to Elizabeth and Jessica. But before we get to Elizabeth's weight, we gotta weigh in the rest of the black team. So Anna, we're gonna start with you. Although it's only Elizabeth's weight that's gonna count and make a difference for our team, I definitely need to prove that I am a valuable asset to this team. 
Let's find out how you did this week, Anna. Okay. Your previous weight was 286 pounds. Your current weight is... Ada puts up a low number, Anna does too. Bob's looking at us saying, told you you should have picked someone else. I was hoping for seven pounds because then my total weight loss would have been 50 and it would have been a nice round number, but oh well. Did you think they'd pick you? Oh, um, thank God they didn't pick me. <laughs> thank you. Brennan? Previous weight was 313 pounds. Your current weight is. I'm excited. I mean, next week, hopefully, I'll be below 300 for the first time in a long time. So I'll be really happy to get below that 300 mark. We look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Patrick, your previous weight was 346 pounds. Your current weight is. I feel like nine's a good number for me. This has been a it's been a tough week. I mean, all of us have been focused on trying to make sure the black team, everybody gets a great workout, and Jillian's been pushing us hard. So it's been a good week. We have one more person to get to before we get to Elizabeth's weigh-in. Fredo, that's you. Fredo, your previous weight was 308 pounds. We are getting close to you breaking through the 300s. You know, I haven't seen anything below 300 in 14 years. It'd be a proud moment for me. Let's see how you did this week. Your current weight is. Fredo, your current weight is 294 pounds. I am proud. I'm really proud. Good for you. All right. Congratulations, Fredo. Thank you. Thank you. I became so self-destructive in the last 20 years of my life, you know? And I don't know if I've had a breakthrough this week. I think there's an opening of the door. Yeah, the door's almost open. You know, it's getting there. Fredo, there is so much going on with you right now. Really proud. It means so much to me below, to be below 300. And I probably got up to 380, 385 at one point. So it's, I just, I, it means a lot to me. You know, pounds. I'm sorry. It's all right. Don't apologize. Well, black team, it all comes down to this. What has been? Your weight is the weight that will represent the black team tonight. It is now your turn to face the scale. Come on up. 
I have that little twinge of nerves and panic, you know, and I'm really scared I'm gonna let my team down. I think I'm gonna have a two or a one. This is the moment of truth. This is the bar that's gonna be set, and I'm gonna know what I need to do to make sure I beat her. Tonight, the black team's fate rests on your shoulders. Your current weight is. Your current weight is. I got a five. <laughs> it feels like really good. I, I got a good number. It wasn't great, but it was it's a five. I'll take it. I'm happy about it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm just I'm just hoping it's enough to beat you, Jessica. I know. <laughs> but things are starting to click. Changes are happening here and here. And I'm just really happy that you pushed me as hard as you did and you made me realize a lot of things that I didn't realize I was doing to myself. That's something that I'm extremely proud of. Well, congratulations, Elizabeth. Good job. Thank you. I'm feeling really good about Elizabeth this week. You know, she had every opportunity to play the weak card, and instead she really pulled it out. We're not out of the woods just yet, but, you know, at least we're still in the game. You lost five pounds tonight, giving you a total percentage of weight loss of 2.29%. So we're going to clear the screen and leave Elizabeth's weight up there because that is what you have to be. I'm surprised. We're going to have a we're going to have a, a battle here. It's, it's going to be a lot closer than I think we assumed it to be. Black team selected Jessica to weigh in for the blue team. Blue team, you had the option of blocking that choice, which would have sent black team to go to their second pick. Patrick, who would that have been? Um, our second pick was going to be Jesse. We talked about Jesse because he had such a big number last week that it would be hard to uh, come back and put up another massive number this week. So, blue team, first we're going to weigh in. The black team's second choice. Come on up, Jesse. Your previous weight was 305 pounds. If the black team had picked you, you would need to have lost more than six pounds. Jesse, your current weight is. Yes. I'm glad we didn't pick Jesse. You know, I'm glad it didn't come to that because he would have beat Elizabeth too. Let me just take a moment quick to promise I'm never going to be 300 pounds again. So. <laughs> you shake on it? I will shake with anybody. Huh? Never 300 I'm pounds again. I'm holding you to it. Thank you. Congratulations. You lost nine pounds this week. Good job. Mark, your previous weight was 352 pounds. If the black team had chosen you, you would need to have lost more than eight pounds. Let's see if you did it. Your current weight is. Wow, I'm shaking with, with excitement and joy right now. Bob's been saying that. All, all season so far that he wants me to see what he sees in me. And now, do you see what Bob sees in you? I, I absolutely. Next stop, 320s. You had a great week. You would definitely have beaten the black team and Elizabeth. But unfortunately, your weight does not represent the blue team tonight. We have three more people left to weigh in. I feel really confident about our team now. I mean, 
Jesse puts up a good number. I put up a phenomenal number. Let's keep it going. Adam, you do know that your weight won't count, but if they had picked you, you would have needed to have lost more than seven pounds to beat Elizabeth. So let's see if you did it. Your previous weight was 335 pounds. Your current weight is. Wow. How does that feel? It feels amazing, you know. I'm really happy. I'm getting nervous. I'm like, oh, do people have really good numbers? It's definitely a thought that crosses my mind that maybe my five pounds aren't going to cut it. Well, Adam, if you are still here next week, you will have a four pound advantage to use if you choose. It's a lot in this game. Congratulations, Adam. Good job. My initial reaction is happiness. Another number that could have been Elizabeth's. But moving forward, I know that I didn't use my three pound advantage. And I can't lose sight of the reality of it that now that target's on my back, I feel it more than ever. Up next is Lisa. Lisa, if you'd been picked to represent your team, you would need to have lost more than five pounds to beat Elizabeth. Your previous weight was 252 pounds. Your current weight is. Oh my god. I really didn't think I was ever going to stand up here and be happy about a number. But I am extremely happy with eight pounds. Everyone on the blue team is putting up a number that would have beaten Elizabeth. Our confidence is just growing. Everybody's beating Elizabeth, one by one. One, two, three, four. Congratulations. Good job. All right, Aaron. If the black team had picked you to represent the blue team tonight, you would need to have lost more than nine pounds in order to beat Elizabeth and keep the blue team safe. Last week, you weighed in at 407 pounds. Aaron, your current weight is. Getting below 400 is big for me. That's why I want to jump up and down and jump for joy and things like that right now, but. I know I got a lot more work to do. Well, we hope we're here to see it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I did lose nine pounds, but if I did go against Elizabeth, then they would have won. I have to put up big numbers. I have to put up at least a 12 every single time I go up on the scale. So now it all comes down to Jessica. Come on up. The room stopped. It was just me and that stairway up to the scale. And my heart started like pounding. I could hear it in my ears. And, you know, it kind of all comes down to this. So in order to beat Elizabeth, you need to have lost more than five pounds. Do you think you got this? Um, yes and no. I mean, I I did everything I could. I did everything. I'm just really nervous. I just want to get it over with. either way. All right, Jessica. Last week, you weighed in at 248 pounds. Your current weight is. In order to beat Elizabeth, you need to have lost more than five pounds. Your current weight is.
Jessica, it's okay. This is not your burden. It's just part of the game. It has nothing to do or show of how hard you worked this week. It is what it is, you know, I tried my best. I'm sorry, guys, I put it in this position, but... I can't do anything about it now, I guess. All right, Jessica, thank you. Thanks. This is the first time I've gone below a five since I've been here. I should have put up a six or seven this week. Now even more. It was just a bad week to have a bad week. <sighs> Relief, you know? My, my team is safe. No one is going home for my team. But someone's still going home tonight. I'm in complete shock right now. I don't really feel bad for Jessica because the one thing that's consuming me is the fact that we just lost the weigh-in. And I'm up for elimination now. You lost four pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.61%. Elizabeth, congratulations. Black team is safe. You will be here for one more week. If we had used the block and black team had used their second choice on me, we would have won the way in But as it stands, the numbers just uh, didn't come out in our favor this week. Blue team, the only person who is safe tonight is Mark. Mark, you had the highest percentage of weight loss on the blue team, which means you are safe from the vote tonight. Blue team, you have one hour and I will see you in the elimination room with your decision. We didn't expect to be going into the elimination room at all. But, you know, that's the biggest loser. You gotta uh, expect the unexpected pretty much all the time. Alright guys, this is your first time in the elimination room as the blue team. So we're gonna go around the room and each of you will reveal who you have voted for. If you receive four votes, you will be eliminated. Mark, we're gonna start with you. And the person that, that, that I'm voting for, I know strong. I know we push each other in the gym. I'm hoping uh, it can continue at home. So I'm, I'm choosing to send home Adam. I mean, if, if I just have to think about it, Ad, Adam's a bigger threat to me. I'm sorry. Adam, that's one vote for you. Tell me how you made your decision. For the person I'm choosing this week, they were under a lot of stress this week. This person knew that they very well could be a target in the, in the weigh-in process tonight. I chose a person who lost the least amount of weight this week, and that was Jessica. Jessica, that's one vote for you. Adam, you have one vote. Lisa? Since our team has to lose a person, we're going to be five against six against the black team. We can't lose any form of strong player that we've got or we will be doing this every week. That being said, with wanting to still keep the strongest team possible, I voted for Jessica. Jessica, that's two votes for you. Doesn't surprise me. And I just hope it's not her or anybody else because if everyone else used the same rationale, they'd be going home on their bad week too. So what logic did you use to make your vote? The person that I picked, I feel is the strongest and the most mentally ready to go home. And I can't take the chance of not being on a team with this person and them sending me home later on down the line. And so with that, I decided to vote for Adam. All right, Adam, that's two votes for you. Jessica, you also have two votes. We have two people left to hear from. Jesse. You know, we've bonded as a team, and we also need a strong team in the future. And I'm confident that this person will be able to continue this journey at home. And that is why I voted for Adam. Well, it's three votes for Adam. Adam, if you receive one more vote, you will be eliminated. Jessica, you have two votes. If you receive Aaron's vote, it will cause a tie, which means the black team will come in and determine your fate. And they can vote for anyone but Mark. 
But if Aaron votes for anyone else on this team, then Adam, you will have been eliminated by having the highest number of votes. Okay. It all comes down to you and your decision tonight. The person that I voted for, I know is a good person, and I feel like they've worked hard. I, di I, di I didn't get a chance to bond as closely with this person as everybody else. So with that said, I chose. Coming up, the biggest loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club is changing lives. So Aaron, it all comes down to you and your decision tonight. I chose Jessica. Based on the decision the blue team has made, it's a tie. And now it is up to the black team. Come on in, black team. Here comes the black team. Now I don't know what to expect because all of us are in danger again. Now the blue team member's fate is in our hands. I mean, it's just a hot night altogether. I mean, come on, we, we won the way in. Nobody's going home on the black team, and now we have control of picking who's going to go home on the blue team? Oh, that was great. <laughs> Come on, three for three? I mean, you can't get better than that. So, black team, as you can see, the blue team is still here. It's a tie between Adam and Jessica, which means it is the black team's decision. You can choose anyone except Mark, who has the highest percentage of weight loss for the blue team, so he is safe from elimination tonight. I'm gonna give each of you on the blue team a chance to talk about why you wanna be here. Convince the black team not to pick you. Jessica. I worked hard this week and I'm begging you to let me stay and work this out because I can't go home with it. I think you guys all know how much I wanna be here. I'm still figuring out how to do this. And that's why I ask you to uh, please not send me home tonight. I just need more time. With me, it's not just for me. I have a son that I'm trying to set an example for. I need to figure these things out and get these things right before I go back. I told myself I wasn't going to get emotional here, but this is me. This is my heart speaking right now. I was at an all-time low when I lost my mother, and that ultimately had me reach out for the first time in my life for help. And that's why I came here to The Biggest Loser, is to gain my life back. And I just hope that you make this decision with your heart and just don't send me home. I'm not ready to take this battle yet on the home front. I'm not. Lisa. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I know that I am more ready to do this at home than Adam is. So if you're leaning towards sending Adam home, Send me home, and I'm not joking. You're not ready. You're not. You shouldn't be willing to give up yourself for anybody. Anybody here, not even anybody in the black team. I I don't think you're ready to go home. Out of everybody here, I don't think you're ready to go home. Most. <laughs> He's right. I just don't see that at all. I honestly do not. Black team, are you ready to make this decision? Yep. Make it happen. We, we agree if this came to this, what we would do. Let's do it. Let's do what we said. You know, we, we got to be smart about this. Yeah, there's two things that we've actually thought of. We thought of sending home the biggest threat and the strongest competitor, or just kind of doing it fair and sending home the smallest percentage weight loss for the week. Let's do okay. it. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Stop. Stop. Have a decision. Yep. Great. Come back up. You heard from everyone at the table who is eligible for elimination, and the black team had to come to a decision. Pardon? So first of all, we want to respect the blue team and pick someone, one of the two people that they tied with. I mean, I don't think it would be fair to send someone home that didn't get one vote. Both these people, I love them both. We all love them both, seriously. But, you know, one person's just a lot bigger threat than another person, and the black team votes for Adam. This, this is a team decision. It wasn't my decision, Fredo's decision. Me and Fredo didn't come up and tell everyone to vote you up. Everyone came to this decision. I, I just want you to know that. All right. I appreciate you being honest. 
blue team messed up. They gave the black team the power to vote one of their own out. They should have made a decision. They should have, you know, binded together and voted one of their own off. Obviously, the black team's strategy is vote off their strongest player. There's nothing bad I can say about the kid. And you can't take these rewards home with you. You got to use them. What's he going to do with that little biggest loser thing now? He's going to put it in his pocket, take it home with him. Adam, I'm sorry to tell you, you are not the biggest loser. You have to say goodbye to your team. All right. Well, I wish all you guys the best of luck. Got nothing but love and respect for all of you that are here. And I can't wait to see you guys at the finale. Good luck, Adam. Thank you so much, Allie. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Okay. I'll see you. When I started on the ranch, I weighed 402 pounds. And now that I'm leaving the ranch, I weigh 322 pounds. No wrestling. Let's go. Let's go. These last six weeks, I've learned a lot about myself, most importantly that this is something I could do. That's perfect, Adam. This is something that is possible. <laughs> my eyes were open when I lost my mother. And it was at that moment I realized that I need help. That's some sweat coming off you right now, Six. The changes that I was able to make here was not all about just the physical change, the weight loss, but it was about believing in myself and be proud of who you are, you know, and, and never forget where you came from. Never forget the adversity that you faced and what you've overcome to get where you are today. America, next time you see me, I'm gonna be a leader in my community. I'm gonna be the person that my mother always believed that I could be. I'm gonna be making a difference and showing people that this is a battle that we could win. When I started The Biggest Loser, I weighed in at 402 pounds. Now, I weigh 264 pounds. My brother Ryan is a member of the football team at Benedictine University, so I decided to come out here to Atchison, Kansas to be with my brother. I found out 68% of the people in this community are obese, and that was an alarming stat. So the first thing I did is I walked into my local YMCA and I asked, how can I be an inspiration to the folks here in the community? Today's a great day in the community. We have a lot of people coming to the YMCA to hear my story, and hopefully it'll serve as inspiration to them. We have some great, exciting news. We're going to be starting our own Biggest Loser competition here at the YMCA. Unfortunately, we have a battle to fight here in Atchison, but we're taking a step in the right direction. That's starting today. This has been the biggest blessing of my entire life, and it's time for me to pay it forward and, and return that blessing to you guys. The Biggest Loser has, has changed my life, and now it's my turn, hopefully, to change yours. I came out here to find myself, and I, and I found more than that. You know, I found a community that, that actually needs my help. You said a sheriff, right? That's correct. Right. The biggest sheriff in Kansas. <laughs> but a year from now, I'm not going to be with your help. To see people inspired by what I've done has made this whole journey a success for me. I'm working out with my brother and his football team, and uh, he's in great physical shape, you know? So he, he's putting me through the ringer, and uh, for once in my life, I'm able to keep up with him. Nice! Anything I could do to help my brother, I'd go head over heels and do anything for him. That's my man. Now to see the commitment he has as far as working out every day, it's amazing. To say I'm proud of him is an understatement. Before we left to go out to school in the morning, my mom told us to pay it forward. Even if it's just a smile to that one girl who's sitting by herself at the lunch benches, you could change her life. So to be a member of the Pay It Forward Biggest Loser season, my life came full circle now and I've found purpose. It's something I've been searching for for so long and uh, now that I have it, I don't want to lose it.